Welcome back everybody. My name is Nick. This is Swiffle Thinking and another quick video here. We're going to look at view that fits. This is a way to literally create a view that fits on the screen. So if we have some content that has the potential to be dynamic. We can tell the Swift UI view, create this view with whichever view that best fits the screen. So most of the time when we're building Swift UI views, we have a specific view that we want to put on the screen. So maybe there's a text box with specific text and we should first try to get that to fit on the screen as is. So we should use padding and spacing and max width of infinity and all the normal things that we've been building in Swift UI. Occasionally though, even after we play around with it a little bit, we realize that this text box maybe doesn't actually fit on every single screen and every single device. And rather than changing the layout on every device, we can use the view that fits component so that certain devices where maybe it's crammed will swap out and have a different view that fits a little bit better. In this video, we're gonna take a look at how to use this, a couple different implementations. And before we begin, do not forget to hit that subscribe button, leave a like, leave a comment. This is free educational content and this is video number 60 or 70 in the Swift UI Bootcamp. I hope you guys are enjoying. Let's jump into Xcode, hit that subscribe button, and let's write some code. All right, welcome back everybody. Another incredibly quick video here. Again, I'm just trying to get this stuff in your guys' toolkit for anyone who's using this course as like a reference guide. So let's quickly right click the navigator, create a new file. It'll be a Swift UI view and let's just title it view that fits bootcamp. Click create. Let's get the preview going. Awesome. And let's make this bigger so that you guys can see it. I'm going to create a Z stack here. All right. On the background, we're just going to do a quick color dot red dot ignore safe area, but let's make the Z stack have a frame. Let's give it maybe a height of somewhere around 300 and we'll give it a little bit of padding. Let's do 16. All right. So we're looking at this red square here and inside the Z stack, I'm just going to put a very simple text that says. This is some text that I would like to display to the user. Awesome. Let's give this maybe a font of headline, make it a little bit bigger and that's cool. All right. So this is a very simple example where we have text and the text is limited to the frame that it's inside, which is this red square. Now, earlier in this playlist, I showed you guys how we would resize text for for accessibility purposes. I also have accessibility videos on my channel. They're at the end of the continued learning playlist. Just look for accessibility. So two ways that we could rearrange the text for accessibility purposes is by using a line limit, which will limit the number of lines that this text will have. So if I did one, it would be limited to one line of text. And then combine that with a minimum scale factor, maybe 0 0.3. So I can scale down that text to 30% of the original size so that it fits on this line. And that's cool. And I think most cases, this is probably how you'll manage getting your text to fit appropriately. But sometimes in your app, especially for like titles and header sections, maybe you don't actually ever want to have to scale down your code. So you have a situation like this where you might have a title, right? But it's getting cut off. And depending on the user's font size and device size, you might have a different amount of space here. So in this case right now, maybe we want to display this text, but if for some reason, like right here, it actually doesn't fit on the one line, then maybe we want to display less of the text so that it does fit on one line. But how do we write that in a, in a native Swift UI way so that it automatically knows which of these strings to use? Should it use this string or should it use the full string? Well, in Swift UI, there's a modifier called view that fits. And I'll open the brackets here. And view that fits, if I hold the option button and click on it, view that fits is going to evaluate the child views in the order you provide them. And it's going to select or choose the first one that fits inside the, the frame that you're providing. So, for example, I can put in a couple texts here and I can even get rid of the line limit now. And so in order, we're going to first try to use this string. 
If it doesn't work, we'll try to use a shorter version. So we'll say this is some text that I would like to display. And then if that doesn't fit, we'll say this is some text. So what this is going to do now is it's going to try to render this one. And if it fits, it'll use that. But if it doesn't, it'll jump to this one. And if it doesn't fit, it'll jump to this one. So this is the priority order, but it's only going to render one of these on the screen. So we can see here that this one is fitting in our frame here. And so that's why it's using this. So if I change maybe the padding to like 50 and make it maybe so it has less width, we can see that now this one would not fit on the screen. We can show you that this, the first two obviously don't fit on one line anymore. So it's jumping down to the third one. So I'm going to show you this one would fit on two lines. This one would also fit on two lines, but this one fits very nicely on one line. So it's a little counterintuitive the first time you use this because obviously two lines of text still fits inside the whole frame here, but it's trying to prioritize the text to fit on one line. And that's why if we uncomment all of this, we're going to get this shorter version in the title here. That's all I'm going to show you guys in this video. Play around with this. This completion has an in parameter, so we can type in if we wanted to specify view that fits in the vertical constraints or view that fits in the horizontal constraints. Um, and generally, I think this is made to be used with text on the screen. Uh, I definitely don't use this that often, but for things that are like titles or areas where I don't want to resize the text, um, this could really come in handy. That's all I want to show you guys. Thank you for watching. As always, I'm Nick. This is Swiftful Thinking, and I'll see you in the next video. Okay.